Hey Internet, there's going to be a solar eclipse tomorrow. That's where the moon, represented here by this blue mushroom, moves in between the sun, represented here by this red mushroom, and the earth, represented here by my face. See, even though the sun is much, much bigger than the moon, it's also a lot farther away. So they look to be about the same size in the sky. And when the moon moves into a very specific position, the light from the sun cannot reach my face. Basically, the moon is casting a shadow, and it gets pitch black even in the middle of the day. It's a pretty amazing natural phenomenon, and it's one that many people are willing to travel great distances to have the opportunity to experience. Tomorrow's eclipse is going to be visible from parts of China and India, so if you want to get in on it, I suggest you book a flight. The science behind eclipses is fascinating, but I guess that astronomical marvels of rare and stunning beauty aren't enough for some people. People like Tima Vlasto, spiritual and holistic columnist for Examiner.com. She's written a pretty comprehensive article about how this eclipse is about to strike a loud bass note in the great symphony we call life, and how this bass note affects you specifically. Now before you roll your eyes too hard, I want you to keep in mind that this eclipse is going to take place during an anoretic degree, which makes it even more powerful. This is a really loud, really powerful bass note we're talking about here, people. And if you try to tell me that a really loud, really powerful cosmic bass note has never affected your life in the slightest, I'm just going to call you a liar. Now, Tima has laid out horoscopes about how this base note eclipse is going to monkey with each of the individual zodiac signs. But first, she gave us more of a general forecast. First of all, she wants you to know that the effects of a solar eclipse can last up to three years, and that this one in particular is going to make us all more aware of the base notes in our lives. The subwoofer of reality will sound a strong note, echoing belief systems programmed into you from your heritage, your family of birth, and consensus reality brainwashing. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Basically, what this means is we're all going to start out with a deleting process, and then we're going to move on to defragmentation, and then we're all going to end up with a clean hard drive and a new lease on life. And once you've plugged in your brand new spiritual USB hub and upgraded your homeopathic video card, you'll no longer be willing to follow consensus reality like sheep to slaughter. We're talking about a renaissance of creativity and invention. So consensus reality is bad and computer metaphors are good, but what is this base note trying to tell me specifically? Well, I'm a cancer, so what I'm hearing is that I have a strong and sensitive self that does not quiver, but expresses and feels profoundly. I should also notice a great deal more wisdom coming out of my mouth than usual. Well, Tima, since I've quoted you so much in this video, I guess I don't have to worry about where the wisdom is coming from. You guys should all be sure to check Tima's articles for your very own base note horoscopes. I've linked it over in the sidebar. Especially you Pisces. Did you guys know that everybody can see your profile on Facebook? Well, you do now. I'll see you next week. The subwoofer of reality will sound... This is ridiculous.